So I had quite the harrowing experience earlier. Hey everybody, welcome back to Prince's Friend, exploring music through Prince. This probably won't end up being a super long video, but I kind of wanted to share something with you guys. It's kind of one of those weird things when you do something and you forget you did it. So I definitely want to let you know where my Prince collection is. And obviously if you like what we do here, you want to hit like on that video, you want to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you always get new videos. Follow us on social media at Princess Friend YT on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash princessfriend to support the channel directly. Now, so I was kind of sitting around trying to figure out what kind of cool videos I could start doing for you guys. I have actually have enjoyed doing some unboxings for you. So I was thinking, you know, I could go to my son's room, uh, take down the box of all of my prints, CDs and stuff, and I could start doing some unboxing videos for all of you. It's been a while since I've seen any of the liner notes for any of the albums, and it's just one of those things that, you know, could make for some good content because I might be reminded of, you know, what's there and what does the CD look like and stuff like that. Also, it helps with you guys and knowing what you would get if you were to purchase said album. Now here's the kicker. I was not able to find that box. I went everywhere. I dug in every crevice. I checked every closet. I cleaned my entire garage. <laughs> I went through every storage area that I could think of and I could not find my box of Prince CDs. And I had this sense of just like dread. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I lost them? What if they're gone forever? Whatever will I do? And then I remembered that I actually sold them a few years ago. Now the reasons behind that are pretty easy. I remember at the time, we were trying to save up money so that we could move into a better place and make sure that the kids uh, would have a house and a home and be able to, you know, live a better life. And one of the things that I had the ability to do was to sell a lot of my books and a lot of my CDs. And I sold the majority of them. But what I was doing was I, I did a whole long campaign of digitizing pretty much all of my movies and all of my music. So I have all of the Prince music, but when it came to trying to see what I was gonna sell and what I was not gonna sell, I saw that the Prince CDs were fetching a pretty penny and we needed the money. Otherwise, where were we, what were we gonna do? The kids would have just not been able to have a house. You know, we would have had to not move because we needed the extra money. So I actually did sell, I believe, pretty much all of my Prince collection and anything that I couldn't sell, I actually gave away to some other people who were interested in having those CDs. And it's such an interesting thing that years later, I had blocked this memory out of my mind. In my brain, all of my CDs were resting comfortably in a box in my closet until it dawned on me that that is not where they are. And of course now I could probably sell them for way more. But just so you know, I do have all of the music from all of the CDs that I had and some other friends have been able to share other digital works with me. I have had the thought of possibly restarting my CD collection, starting with For You Again and buying each one in order and just having a ball doing that. And that's something I'm still considering doing. At the same time, a friend of the channel gave me a bunch of CDs and I had the option, I could have kept them for myself. But instead, I decided to start giving them away to all of you. I have the music. The CDs are the physical representation of that music, which is great, but I have all of the music digitally saved in several places to make sure that I'm never gonna lose the music itself. And the music is what matters. Having it in physical form, be it vinyl, CD, cassette, but whatever, whatever you want to have it. The physical medium doesn't matter. The music is what matters. And it's weird because I was scared when I realized that they were just gone forever. And then I realized that, no, that those CDs are my home that I live in. They're the, some of the clothes that my kids wear. They're, they helped build something here that I was able to then make my life and the life of my family better based on those CDs. And it's one of those wonderful things that, that means that Prince is part of my house. Prince is my house, Prince is the clothes, Prince is the food, Prince is just kind of everywhere at this point. And it's so weird to think of it that way. But I also do like to think of it that way because 
it wasn't a loss. It's not like I lost the CDs. I sold them, and I sold them for a good amount of money that I needed at the time. Do I need them back? Mostly just for the booklets and the liner notes and stuff, but even that, a lot of that stuff can be researched online. But I just wanted to share that with you because I know that there are a whole lot of collectors that swear by having the physical medium uh, and all that stuff. And I've never been somebody to collect memorabilia, so I don't have, you know, I have t-shirts, but I don't have like tambourines and hats and jewelry and stuff like that. You know, for me, it was always about the music. I own the CDs, but I did digitize my entire music collection, including all of my prints, which is why I still have all of that rare stuff that you it's hard to find out there. But, you know, also I like to think that whoever it was the person that I sold the CDs to, that they were able to enjoy them, maybe even more than me. Maybe there's somebody who doesn't have the ability to digitize their music, but I did. But it was interesting that I was filled with so much dread and fear, and I was scared that I had lost my Prince collection <laughs> and realized it was just my fault in the first place. So. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you like that story. I wanna know what you guys think about having a Prince collection physically and how important is that to you? You can just put in the comments, not at all, or you can put into the comments a whole lot, but you know, or you can go into a little bit more depth if you wanna tell us the story of your collection and maybe why it's important to you or why it's not important to you. I think there's a lot of different ways of how people can feel about these physical embodiments of things, which is why anytime I buy a CD, I make sure that I had the music and I digitize it and I do all of that stuff. And I've gone into just giving it away. The Raven to the Joy Fantastic that I've recently purchased, I'll probably end up giving that away to somebody who maybe doesn't have it digitally already. So, but that's neither here nor there. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on social media at PrincessFriendYT. If you check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash princessfriend and choose to support the channel directly we can get you in on the wall of gratitude which is amazing and I love all of my patrons who go that one step further if you can't it's cool but it is nice to know that I have some additional support from some of my community here otherwise just make sure that you subscribe to the channel that's the easiest way to support the channel subscribe and watch the videos and with all of that said may you live to see the dawn I love you all <laughs>